Hello everybody. Today I have a card that I'm calling a triple layer die cut card. Um, I think you can see there I've got some popped up layers. Um, so you've got one, two, three, and then this is flat, so I consider that the same layer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to assemble this card. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your square or rectangle of designer series paper, also known as pattern paper, and this should be um, one, five and a quarter by four inches if you want to have um, this quarter of an inch border that's the traditional size. I'm going to bring over my die cut machine so you can see how I line up my dies. This is a stamp and cut and emboss machine and I'm going to use my plate number one and my plate number two that you use when you're die cutting using with thin dies it says. Oh see there they are. Plate one is all base platform you always use it on plate two and then I'm going to have the one I always die cut on on the bottom and that's what I put my paper and then I have these stitched so sweetly dies and there are several sizes of rectangles as well as some of these other ones and I'm going to take the largest one and the third largest and then that's all I use for now and so then I'm going to center these on my thing I might as well put this on this side I think you could see it better as I'm lining these up then so then I'm just going to take I think it's better to do for me it's easier to do the larger die line that up first that's just what I've been doing I guess I don't know if it's easier And I think that this design works best with these rectangle dies. There are other layering rectangle ones you could get. Um, I don't know how well this would work with like layering circles or um, squares. It just, this the rectangle takes up so much of the paper. I mean, I just think it fits better. Okay, and then you have your top plate. So just like when you're like drawing lines in paper, you draw two lines, you get three sections, and you're trying to get three pieces of designer series paper. You just need two dies, and you're still going to get, oh, I'll just move this and I'll have more room. You only needed two dies, but you're left with the three sizes of paper. And then we're going to bring some dimensionals, but the first layer, we're just going to glue down flat. Um, I think since I actually have some now, um, I'm going to use my seal just because it goes a little faster. I like the liquid glue. Oh no. But um, it just takes a little bit more time to use when it's not something I use all the time. Alright, this will still be fine because it will just glue right back down. Okay, so then I'm going to center it. That looks pretty nice. Then on my first dimensional layer, it will just have one layer of dimensionals. I'm going to do it in all of the corners and then each of the middles. Oh, I just need six. I mean eight. <laughs> what I like about this card design is that it will look good with almost any design of paper. It might work a tiny bit better with a tighter pattern like this where the design is closer together. It might not be as fun if it was a looser pattern with a lot of space between because you might not get to see a lot of the design um, with it being covered up and yeah so some tighter patterns might work just a bit better 
than more open patterns. All right, and then on this middle layer, you will do two layers. So I'm gonna do six this time. I'm gonna do my first layer. And then I'm gonna take off the backing or the release paper might be the technical name I've heard. So then when I put another layer of dimensionals over the top of that, it will stick well. Oh, I almost forgot. So I'm gonna go red. I'm gonna try to line them up just because I, I just feel like it'll be a little more stable. It won't be the end of the world if it's a tiny bit off. Then if you press on it, it won't wiggle. I don't really know if anyone's going to be pressing on this, but it's just, what, just a thought. And then, of course, on the top layer, you have to take off the dimension. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I'm thinking of this now. I almost put it down without tying my ribbon around. And it's not too late, because what all I have to do, I don't have to tie it now. I can just lay it down, give myself a good, it's a fairly big bow, so you're gonna need a good amount of ribbon. So I'm just gonna leave that over there and place this down right on top. And I didn't even think of it, but I just maybe am used to it. I better cut this off first and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right. I turn them sideways when I'm turning a sideways bow, tying a sideways bow. Just it helps me. Ooh. A few people joining. Yay! Okay. And I can fuss with it a little bit. Oh, I don't think it came out quite like I like. I'll try one more time and then I won't waste any more time. Some people are intimidated by bows, and I get it, but I like them, so I work with it. Okay, that's better, I think. Yes, that is better. Okay. Got my charm a little tangled up. I can trim that better when I get done. But then, so I made sure that my patterns matched up, that the I could have had it the other way, but then I would have had like this white over here by the red, and it wouldn't have. So I made sure that I laid them back down just as they had been before I cut them out. So then it's seamless. Okay, and then the last touch I have to stamp my greeting. And I just chose smile because I didn't have a, I wanted to use this size for the middle and I didn't have a good happy birthday stamp that was just the right size. So then I figured, well, I can do smile and still use it for a birthday. Okay. I'm just cut this off camera and I just used the same dies I'd used before. And so I had my largest one and then the third largest one and so then the fifth largest is what I used to cut this. So I'll do that real quick. Then this one I also put down with snail, so no dimensionals here. I just wanted it to be flat. And then you can adjust your ribbon one last time before you stick this down. And I didn't put any dimensionals in the middle. That's okay. You can push this down and it will just pop right back up and still be nice and um, puffy. Even though you pushed on it, the dimensionals will bounce back. All right, so there is our triple layer die cut card. You just need three dies to cut the two layers and then the final one. 
um, card base is to traditional size. The um, so yeah, that's eight and a half scored at four and a quarter by five and a half, and then the DSP a little scrap for die cutting your sentiment and some ribbon, and then I didn't put any embellishments on it because I think the pattern paper with the cool stacked die cuts kind of speaks for itself, and I didn't want to get too busy here. Um, well, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you're inspired to try some uh, triple layer die cutting yourself. And then, in case you're interested, we are having a big sale right now with Stampin' Up! running through the end of February. When you purchase $50 or $100, you get to choose an item for free. Um, so they'll say up here, free with $50 purchase. Um, there's another free with $50 stamp set. Uh, stamp set and paper. And then, oh yeah, this is what I used on page 10. The Flower and Field DSP is what I used on this card. And then there are some like this. This is a very big stamp set. The cat's bumping the camera. Get down. Um, so some items in here are free with a $100 purchase. Smokes, honey, stop that. So if you're interested in ordering and you would like to know what items you can choose as free gifts with purchase, let me know and I can get you out this celebration catalog and also our new... Um, January to June catalog. All right, thank you.